Using the truth rule, it is possible to work out the unknown oxidation states of any element in a compound, so long as the oxidation states of the other elements are known. Example, calculate the oxidation state of sulfur in the following compounds. Hydrogen sulfide, sulfur trioxide, and sulfuric acid. Hydrogen sulfide. We know that the oxidation state of hydrogen is plus one. So here I'll say let oxidation state of sulfur be x. Let oxidation state of sulfur be x. Now I have. 2 times plus 1 plus x is equal to 0. This gives me plus 2 plus x is equal to 0. I take plus to the other way, I have x is equal to minus 2. Oxidation state of sulfur in hydrogen sulfide is minus 2. What about sulfur trioxide? SO3. Oxidation state of oxygen is minus 2. So here I'll have x plus 3 times minus 2 is equal to 0. Because this is a compound, the algebraic sum of oxidation state gives us 0. Now I'll have x plus minus 6 is equal to 0. x is equal to plus 6. Now let's do for sulfuric acid. I have H2SO4. I have two hydrogen there. Oxidation state of hydrogen here is plus 1. Oxidation state of oxygen is minus 2. This will give me 2 times plus 1 plus oxygen state of sulfur. I give it x plus 4 times minus 2 is equal to 0. Let's simplify. This is plus 2 plus x plus minus 8 is equal to 0. Let's reduce signs here. This is 2 plus x plus minus is minus, minus 8 is equal to 0. I rearrange x plus 2 minus 8 is equal to 0. x plus 2 minus 8 gives us minus 6, minus 6 is equal to 0. x is equal to plus 6. Now, Take out a piece of paper and calculate the oxidation state of chromium in the following. Chromium oxide, potassium dichromate, and the chromate ion. Calculate the oxidation state of nitrogen in the following compounds. Nitrogen monoxide, dinitrogen oxide, nitric acid, potassium nitrate, and copper nitrate. Calculate the oxidation state of manganese in manganese oxide and in manganate ion. Uses of oxidation number 1. Compounds and ions containing elements with variable valencies are named by the impact nomenclature. The oxidation number that corresponds to the element's oxidation state is written just after the name of that element in Roman numerals and put in brackets. Example, copper oxide. The oxidation state of copper is plus 2. So, we have copper 2 oxide. In sulfur the oxide, the oxidation state of sulfur is plus 4. So here we talk of sulfur 4 oxide. Phosphorus oxide. Oxidation state of phosphorus so here we have the name phosphorus 5 oxides. Iron chloride, 
is called ion trichloride. Exercise. Give the UPAC a systematic name for the following compounds. UPAC stands for the International Union of Q and Applied Chemistry. Two, oxidation number is used to determine whether an element has undergone oxidation or reduction in a redox reaction. Example, copper sulfate reacting with zinc to give zinc sulfate and copper. Copper has been reduced from a plus 2 oxidation state to zero, while zinc has been oxidized from an oxidation state of zero to plus two. Also, in the reaction ion 3 chloride reacting with hydrogen sulfide to give ion 2 chloride, hydrogen chloride and sulfur, ion has been reduced from plus 3 to plus 2, while sulfur has been oxidized from minus 2 to 0. Characteristics of oxidizing and reducing agents. An oxidizing agent is the electron acceptor, while the reducing agent is the electron donor. An oxidizing agent is a substance that is reduced, while a reducing agent is a substance that is oxidized. The oxidizing agent is a substance whose oxidation number reduces, while the reducing agent is a substance whose oxidation number increases. The table here shows some examples of oxidizing and reducing agents. We start with oxidizing agents. Common examples include oxygen, chlorine, manganese oxide, acidified potassium permanganate, acidified potassium dichromate, concentrated sulfuric acid, concentrated nitric acid, sulfur dioxide and nitrogen dioxide. Common reducing agents include hydrogen, carbon, carbon monoxide, hydrogen sulfide, ammonia, iod2 chloride, potassium iodide, and tin chloride. Generally, in all redox reactions, on combined metal atoms act as electron suppliers, that is, reducing agent as a result of their readiness to lose electrons, that is electropositivity. The test for oxidizing and reducing agents. 1. Oxidizing agents. The action of hydrogen sulfide and iron 2 chloride is frequently employed in quantitative analysis as a test for oxidizing agents. A. Action of hydrogen sulfide. When hydrogen sulfide is passed through a solution of an oxidizing agent, a yellow deposit of sulfur is formed. This deposition is due to the change of oxidation state of sulfur 2 minus ions by the oxidizing agent to sulfur. B. Action of ion 2 chloride. When a solution of green ion 2 chloride is added to a solution of an oxidizing agent, the ion 2 ions will be oxidized to brown ion 3 chloride. 2. Reducing agents. The action of reducing agents on acidified potassium permanganate or potassium dichromate is used in quantitative analysis to test for reducing agents. A. Acidified potassium permanganate. Reducing agents will decompose purple permanganate ion in acid medium. This is because the manganate ion, which is purple in color, is reduced to manganese 2 plus, which is colorless. B. Acidified potassium dichromate. Reducing agent will change the orange color of dichromate ion in acid solution, which is orange in color, is reduced to green chromium 3 ions.